This is Banjo, and today I'll be demonstrating how varied engine power will affect the length of your takeoff run in the MiG-21 for DCS World. I'll be demonstrating takeoff at military power, with afterburner, emergency afterburner, as well as with JATO bottles. In the example, we're able to see that we're running from Batumi Air Base, which has a runway of about 2 kilometers. For the first example, I'm going to disable the afterburner, and we're going to run solely on military power. With the afterburner disabled, at this point I'll hold the wheel brakes, run up the throttle, and release the brakes and start rolling. Takeoff run will be significantly longer than it would be with afterburner. It's also going to take longer to rotate as well. At this point, as I start rolling, I'll bring up the controls indicator so we can monitor the input that I'm putting into the stick. As speed passes 150 to 200, I'll pull the stick smoothly back about halfway, and I'll keep it there until the nose wheel begins to lift off. Then as the nose wheel leaves the ground, I'll ease off the stick to set up the required pitch for takeoff, allowing the wings to lift the plane off the ground before I bring in the gear and slowly retract the flaps as airspeed increases. As we're able to see, this takes quite a while on military power. For the full fuel load and six IR missiles, we're able to see that I cleared at about three quarters of the runway length, this being a two kilometer runway and one of the shortest. This is usually fine to take off from any runway in the game, although this may change with air to ground weapons. For the second example, this will be a standard takeoff using the afterburner. So leave the afterburner in the enabled upwards position, hold the wheel brakes and run up the throttle to about 90%, watch engine gas temperature pass above 600, at which point I'll engage the afterburner, monitoring the lights come on, and begin my takeoff run. The main difference this time around is that the increase in thrust will allow me to clear my takeoff about one third quicker than at military power. Just as before, I'll bring up the controls indicator as I pass 100, and we're able to see as I pass 200, I'll bring the stick smoothly back about halfway, bring up the nose gear, at which point I'll allow the wings to lift the plane off the ground, easing off the stick. Due to the design of the MiG-21, it's fairly easy to tail strike the engine during takeoff if you pitch back too much. For the third example, I'm going to engage the emergency afterburner, which will give us additional thrust. The switch to enable the emergency afterburner is located in front of the throttle. At this point, I'll begin the takeoff run, and the main difference this time is that the takeoff run will be cut down by another third, so at this point it should be a takeoff run about half the distance as at military power. As with the previous examples, I'll again bring up the controls indicator, and we can see things go just as it was the first two times, only a bit quicker. Pull the stick back smoothly about halfway, bring up the nose gear, allowing the wings to lift me off the ground, at which point I'll ease up off the stick, retract my gear, and raise flaps as airspeed increases. At this point, we're able to see that I'm in the air at half the distance I was at military power. For the final example, we're able to see in the weapons rearming menu, or in the mission editor, we can take the JATO boosters on pod 6. These will significantly cut our takeoff run. At this point, for the final example, back in game, I'll make sure the afterburner is set to enabled, engage the emergency afterburner, at which point I'll enable power to the SPRD system and its drop system, Having a quick look at the external, we're able to see the boosters just inside for my flaps under my wing. As an increase in airspeed is detected, the JATO boosters will automatically activate. They can also be activated manually using SPRD start. Compared to our takeoff with emergency burner, we'll take off in about half the distance, which will be about the quarter of the distance that military power took. At this point, we can hear the boosters activate, and we'd see a sharp increase to our airspeed. At this point, everything is going to happen significantly faster, but otherwise is a standard takeoff. We're able to see that I've cleared the runway at about a quarter of the distance I did at military power, or about a third of the distance on afterburn. For the final example, we'll move to TAC view, and we're able to see that I've merged all four examples. I made sure to include a delay before each plane took off, as to make sure they all take off at about the same time. We're able to see the first one rolling on military power. Here comes the second one rolling on afterburner, the third one coming up on emergency afterburner, followed by the fourth one using emergency afterburner as well as SBRD boosters. As we can clearly see though, varied engine power during the takeoff run makes a significant difference to the length on the takeoff run by a few hundred meters. Realistically, it'd be pretty rare to have to run the SBRD boosters as the runways in DCS are long enough to take off at military power and you give up quite a lot to take them as they take place of the ASO-2 countermeasure rack. 